Hey guys, Nick here, and you've seen these before. These are the AirPods Pro, and I've had them for a few months now, and I wanted to give my full, honest opinion on them. In the past few months, the price has dropped from $250 to as low as $179. And for that price, or even at $189, the price I paid a few months ago, they're an amazing buy and well worth your cash. I had been critical of the original AirPods in the past for their long stem design and overall crappy sound, However, the AirPods Pro have been my go-to earbud for the past few months, and in this video I'll tell you why I end up consistently popping this in my ear more and more over the multitude of other earbuds and headphones I have lying around the house. Stay tuned. First, the unboxing. Inside you get some paperwork, the earbuds already inside the case, and then a USB-C to lightning adapter. There's no power brick here, so if you don't already have one lying around the house, you're going to be out another $20 to $30 right out of the gate. You also get two additional silicone ear tips, so small, medium, and large, and that's about it. Pairing is simple and easy with the H1 chip, and it has a nice UI for Apple users if you're into that, and that's about all it takes to get set up. Now let's talk about what makes these great, and it's really four major things. The design, the sound, the A and C, and probably the biggest factor, the convenience. So let's start with the design. These things are pretty tiny. Previously I'd been using the Powerbeats Pro as my daily earbuds, and you can see coming from Powerbeats Pro, the case alone is night and day. These can easily slip into your pant pocket, hoodie or bag, and you'll forget they're even in there. Everything about the case is intuitive. The way the case snaps open is just as seamless as the way the earbuds snap into the magnets to charge. Of course you have your lightning port here at the bottom, and I love that the case has wireless charging as well. It also supports fast charge, so 5 minutes of charge time can juice you up for 1 hour. The case is super glossy, which is prone to scratching if you're carrying them in the same pocket as your keys, but it's so glossy that you really have to look closely and in the right light to see any markings. This is what my case looks like after around 6 months of usage. Now onto the earbuds. First off, I love that Apple ditched the standard Apple earbud design here and moved forward with removable interchangeable ear tips. The original Apple earpods and airpod design never really did it for me, and the lack of a proper fit always made the sound feel a bit tinny. These silicone ear tips, on the other hand, really helped to create an amazing seal for super rich bass response and also for some passive noise isolation, which when paired with Apple's A and C blocks out a lot of external noise on par with Sony's offering. The shorter stems on the AirPods Pro make them look less like jism hanging from your ears, and overall they're just less intrusive. The stems have a squeeze button now for controls, so one squeeze to pause, two to skip tracks, and long press for A and C. But the lack of volume controls has been annoying at some points. They do have Siri built in, so you can always ask her to increase or decrease volume if you want a total hands-free experience, but I always feel like a tool talking to a voice assistant when I'm out in public. Now if clicking or Siri isn't your thing, I really like that at any time I can swipe down on my phone, long press the volume control, and then I have access to all the modes, including the newer spatial audio mode, which I haven't really played with quite yet. The earbuds are super lightweight, coming in at just 5 grams, almost half the weight of Sony's, and there have been times when I'm at work and I just simply forget that they're in there. Now, because of their design, something we also need to talk about is the possibility of losing them or having them fall out. I've definitely been on mute on conference calls, taking a whiz, and it's always in the back of my mind that these can drop into the bowl at any minute. But for the most part, these earbuds have consistently stayed in my ear without a problem. And that's mostly thanks to the new silicone ear tips. The only times these have actually dropped out of my ears is whenever I go to remove my face mask in the new normal. Uh, they got scratched up a bit, but they still work perfectly fine. Finally, we've come to expect it in earbuds and headphones these days, but I still really enjoy the automatic ear detection. So you can pop out one of the earbuds, it'll pause your music, pop it back in, and you'll pick up right where you left off. So now let's talk about the sound. Compared to the original AirPods, these sound amazing. The sound profile is surprisingly full, and the bass response, which has been lacking in previous versions, is insane. Where the Powerbeats Pro sound a bit more exaggerated when it comes to bass, the AirPods Pro have a more natural, balanced sound, with an emphasis on mids, but still with a thump that had been missing in previous iterations. Now it is important to get the right sized ear tip for your ear shape, 
and for me it was the one that was already pre-installed. Of course, Apple being Apple, these are their own proprietary ear tips, so you can't just pop on some comply foam ear tips you have around the house. But once you get the proper seal and push these in deep, music sounds amazing. All genres shine, making these a great versatile set of earbuds and my go-to for the past several months. Microphone quality is also superb, and I've been using them non-stop for work and conference calls. Everyone always says how great I sound, and you can hear it now, it sounds pretty darn good. So it's a nice sunny day here in New Jersey, and I have cars whizzing past behind me. And you can tell that the microphone quality is pretty darn good, especially given that the AirPods Pro now have a smaller stem design. Now for the ANC and other features. The ANC in these earbuds is pretty much best in class. I'd easily put them side by side with the Sony's any day of the week. And while the Sony earbuds might have them marginally beat in this department, and I'm talking fractions, I've never really been happy with Sony's ear tip choices, dating all the way back to their wired earbuds. Something about their included ear tips just never sealed as well as the AirPods Pro do, and for that reason, I give the AirPods Pro an edge here. They have an outward-facing mic detecting external sound, which is countered with anti-noise, and then the inward-facing mic listens inside your ear for unwanted sound and removes that as well. The noise cancellation is adjusted 200 times per second, and the H1 chip here has 10 audio cores, essentially enabling real-time noise cancellation. Pretty insane. These easily cancel out my AC unit, a heater, a dehumidifier, and they even muffle the sound of my newborn screaming upstairs. You do of course have ambient mode, in case I wanted to amplify that screaming, and then normal mode with no ANC or ambient mode active. This mode sounds as if you're just wearing normal earbuds, whereas other ANC earbuds or headphones in this mode can sometimes contain a noticeable hiss. This isn't here. Some other quick notes, these are IPX4 sweat resistant, but I'd go with the Powerbeats Pro if you're looking for these to become your daily gym earbud. And I have to stress how well these work with Siri. I've never really been a Siri guy, but these earbuds work seamlessly with it. I'll be listening to music and Siri will interrupt and read out a text message who it's from, what it says, and I can reply to it just by saying reply. This is something I thought I'd never use, but once I tried it, I do it all the time now. As mentioned, you can also control music playback, volume, and everything else you'd expect from a voice assistant, all hands-free. Now, battery life, with these, you're looking at four and a half hours per earbud, and the case will give you around 24 hours of runtime. As mentioned, if you're low on juice, you can quick charge these for five minutes, which will give you an hour of playtime until you can reach an outlet. Finally, there's really a convenience factor here that's unmatched. The case is super small, the earbuds are super lightweight, they work right out of the box, they're just easy. As an Apple user, these are a must-have and a no-brainer. If you're looking at previous versions of AirPods to buy, don't do it. Get these for the extra 50 bucks or so, it's well worth it. The ANC is so good, it sits right along the Sony's, and in fact, I personally think they're better than the Sony's just due to their fit. Call and microphone quality is unmatched, and compared to something like the Sony's or Powerbeats, you're getting wireless charging here, uh, which is surprisingly missing from other premium earbuds. And while Sony has a cool app allowing you to tweak the ANC and the EQ profile, the AirPods Pro don't really need that. The EQ out of the box is enjoyable and a major step up from regular AirPods, with more bass response than you might expect. Sure, the Sony earbuds might have slightly better bass, cleaner mids, and marginally better ANC, but again, the convenience factor here with the AirPods Pro, when it comes to the size of the case, comfort, weight, and ease of use, has me reaching for these over the Sony's nine times out of 10. For $199 or less, these are a must have for Apple users. And sure, they work with Android, but I mean, why? Uh, no Siri, no autoplay pause, get the Galaxy Buds or something similar if, if you're an Android user. That about wraps this one up. I'm going to do a dedicated video for both the Sony's and the Powerbeats Pro, so stay tuned for that. As always, this has been Nick from Quick Tech. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big like. It helps the algorithm, you know that. And uh, drop a comment down below if you agree, if you disagree. And uh, if you want to troll some more, be sure to subscribe to uh, see future content. We'll see you in the next one. Take care now.